I had three worries about President Trump going in. For one, that he wasn't going to govern conservative because he had no record. And not only did he have no record, he was all over the place during the campaign. So he'd say things like, Obamacare's the worst, it's just terrible. And then he would turn around, he'd say, universal health care for everyone. He'd be like, okay, well, which one of those is it? Because he got picked. Uh, and then, so I was worried about his policy. That worry's been largely alleviated, at least in the first year and a half because he's governed conservative, like more conservative than anyone I can remember. He's given us Gorsuch, he's given us a bunch of, of, a bunch of appellate court justices. Like all of this stuff is really good. Um, my second worry is that he was gonna soul suck the Republican party, meaning Republicans were gonna stop being conservative and they were instead gonna look at Trump as a thought leader on issues like free trade or like Russia or on his kind of vulgar personal behavior. I don't think that's really happened so much. I think that people voted for him because they wanted the policy and because they didn't like Hillary Clinton. And I think that if somebody who were classier as a human being were to run for president and be popular enough, they'd follow that person too. So I think that that, that worry's been at least partially alleviated. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's sad to watch. I think some people make excuses for his bad behavior. I think there are a lot of people on the right who make excuses for him, which I, I don't agree with. I can praise his policy and still think that he's kind of a heel when it comes to his personal behavior, and not kind of a heel when it comes to his personal <laughs> behavior.